Turmeric may be one of the most effective nutritional supplements that exist. There's many high quality studies that show it has powerful effects on the body and the brain. So in this video, I thought I'd look at the top five evidence-based health benefits of turmeric. Turmeric is a spice and medicinal herb that's been used in India and surrounding regions for thousands of years. There are now studies that confirm it does indeed contain compounds with medicinal properties. These active compounds in turmeric are called curcuminoids, uh, the most important of which is curcumin. Uh, it has powerful anti-inflammatory effects and is a very strong antioxidant. Just note that the curcumin content of turmeric is not that high, around 3% by weight. Almost all studies use turmeric extracts that contain concentrated doses of curcumin, usually exceeding one gram per day. And they're also typically called uh, curcumin supplements instead of turmeric supplements. So I just wanted to clarify that it would be very difficult to reach um, these high levels of curcumin just using turmeric spice in your foods. Okay, so first on the list of the top benefits is its powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Short-term inflammation is actually beneficial so that the body can heal itself. However, inflammation can become a major problem when it's chronic and long-term and inappropriately deployed against the body's own tissues. In fact, it is now believed that chronic low-level inflammation plays a major role in almost every chronic Western disease. Now, this includes heart disease, cancer, metabolic syndrome, Alzheimer's, and various other degenerative conditions. Therefore, anything that can help fight chronic inflammation is of potential importance in preventing and even treating these diseases. It turns out that curcumin is strongly anti-inflammatory. Now, without getting into the gory details, inflammation is extremely complicated. Um, curcumin appears to fight inflammation at the molecular level. In several studies, its potency has compared favorably to anti-inflammatory pharmaceutical drugs, uh, just except without the side effects. It's these anti-inflammatory properties that make curcumin especially useful for arthritis patients. There are several different types of arthritis, but most involve some sort of inflammation in the joints. Given that curcumin is a potent anti-inflammatory, it makes sense that it could help with many types of arthritis, and several, several studies show this to be true. In a study of 45 patients with rheumatoid arthritis, curcumin was even more effective than an anti-inflammatory drug. Now, high-quality control trials are still needed, but it looks promising. Looking at osteoarthritis, those taking 1,000 milligrams of turmeric over eight months saw symptoms of knee osteoarthritis reduced to 41% of baseline values with improvements in pain, stiffness, and physical functioning um, as assessed by treadmill testing. Turmeric or curcumin supplements are definitely worth consideration if arthritis is greatly affecting your life. Number three, curcumin in turmeric may help with anxiety. At least there is good evidence that it helps females with anxiety who are also overweight. In this randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, 35 obese females, that is uh, females with a BMI greater than 30, uh, were given either one gram of curcumin per day or placebo, uh, which are pretend capsules, that were of the exact size and shape uh, for 30 days. Now, they then had two weeks of washout interval before swapping over to the alternative treatment for another 30 days. Psychometric tests such as the Beck Anxiety Inventory or BAI and Beck Depression Inventory or BDI were administered to each participant through the trial. Now researchers found significant improvement for anxiety when participants were taking curcumin as opposed to placebo. Interestingly, they didn't find any benefits on depression, which is actually in line with uh, other research. This review of previous randomized control trials using curcumin to treat depression found that most failed to demonstrate curcumin was superior to placebo. Uh, many were also very small or of short duration or lacked proper placebo groups for comparison. Number four, curcumin in turmeric may help prevent Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease is the leading cause of dementia and unfortunately there's no good treatment for it yet. However, curcumin looks promising. One key feature of Alzheimer's disease is a buildup of protein tangles called amyloid plaques. Now lab studies indicate that curcumin can prevent the buildup of these plaques. In rodent studies of advanced Alzheimer's disease characterized by these amyloid uh, plaques and, and their buildup, curcumin was able to stop the decline in neural performance in combination with DHA, which is uh, a fish oil. In this six month trial on Chinese participants uh, suffering from cognitive decline for at least six months prior, um, curcumin at either one or four grams daily for six months was able to stop the progression of cognitive decline based on MMSE scores, which is a rating scale for Alzheimer's. However, because of the small sample size and some confounding factors, um, we certainly can't make any absolute conclusions about that yet uh, because more research is needed. 
Number five, curcumin in turmeric may lower your risk of heart disease. Heart disease is the biggest killer in the world. Uh, it is very complicated and there are many uh, factors that contribute to it. But curcumin may actually help reverse many of the steps in the heart disease process. Perhaps the main benefit is improving the function of the endothelium, which is the lining of the blood vessels. Now, endothelial dysfunction is a major driver of heart disease and involves an inability of the endothelium to regulate blood pressure and blood clotting and various other factors. Several studies suggest that curcumin leads to improvements in endothelial function, and one study shows that it's as effective as exercise, and another shows that it works as well as a common statin drug. The curcumin also reduces inflammation, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, it helps to uh, lower blood pressure and also increase HDL cholesterol, which is the so-called good cholesterol. Now, these are all important factors uh, for reducing heart disease risk. In this study, 121 patients who were undergoing coronary artery bypass surgery were randomized to either placebo or four grams of curcumin per day a few days before and after the surgery. Now, the curcumin group had a 65% decreased risk of experiencing a heart attack in the hospital, which is a pretty interesting statistic. Lastly, I should mention that curcumin is actually very poorly absorbed into the bloodstream. Uh, it helps if you take a, a substance called piperin, which, which you get from black pepper. This is shown to increase the absorption of curcumin by over 2000%. So look for turmeric or curcumin supplements that contain uh, what's called piperin or biopiperin as well. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate the, the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video and then you can catch all our new videos as they come out.